Oh yeah, you know the buttermilk biscuits was burnt. Hell nah. <laughs> but y'all, man, y'all ready? It's Monday. Y'all ready for a new video? Let's get it. Let's go. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jules 88, bringing the good, bad, and oh so ugly. And it's Monday. And you know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Let's talk about it. Now, I was on the phone, talking to a buddy of mine. And he was asking me a question. Like, yo, you always in deep other, man. What happened? I heard something something crazy. I'm like, yeah, you know, yada, yada. No, I'm not going to bore you with detail, but some crazy stuff happened in Deep Ellum. And as a Dallas native, um, y'all know that. But um, some stuff went down. And I'm like, I told him after that, conversation, after that conversation, I'm like, bro, you really need to get out more. And his response was, I know, I, I know. Like, dude, how old are you again? And you've never been to Deep Ellum? Like, I mean... Like, yeah, man. There's a, in some of the places he tells me he hasn't been, like, bro, dude, like, you really need to get out more. And his response was like, yo, man, I don't really like going nowhere if I ain't got nobody to go with. I'm like, bro, that's the wrong mentality mentality to have because I say, yo, if I'm not with, if I'm not with nobody, I'll go by myself. You know what I mean? I'll go by myself. It's no big deal to me. Like, if none of my friends don't want to go, hell, if my mom don't want to roll, if nobody want to go, I'll go by myself. I have no issue. I'm an only child. I don't have to have a bunch of people with me to go anywhere. You know what I mean? And that, let, that, that, that was leading me to say, that leads me to my to this video, was like, don't just be in the box. Be outside the box. You know what I mean? Meaning, just don't know your area. Be there's altitude got a uh, he altitude got a saying that he says in the song his song Hello World. He says it opens up with he says there's more to know than what you know, and that's the most that's the realest thing he said. And altitude says a lot of real stuff, but that right there sets a tone for this video. It's more to know than what you know. There's more than just your city. You gotta get out there. There's so much to explore. There, and with my partner, I'm like, you know how they say, you haven't even scratched the surface yet? He haven't even started scratching yet. Like, he hasn't even scratched. It's like, it's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, there's a whole world out there. Like, dude, and that's just not for him, that's for anybody watching this video. There's more than just your city. It's more than just your backyard, you know what I mean? Like, yo, there's so many different cultures, so many. Just in your city, just in Dallas alone, there's different kind of foods, there's different kind of styles, there's just all kinds of things. Like, there's people, like, going downtown Dallas, it's, it's a world in itself. It's a world in itself. It's like, you know, I used to, as a kid, I used to call downtown Dallas a mini New York City. Like, you know, it reminded me so much of New York. It's like, it's a mini New York City. Like, you know what I mean? It's like all the buildings, all the things you could do. You go downtown, there's so much stuff to see. It's like, you can go, I guarantee you can go downtown Dallas every day for a month and still not see everything there's so much then there's deep ellum there's so much but i'm not talking about my city it's like get more cultured go places do things see other see other states you know what i mean hell if you're scared to if you're scared to go somewhere go go to the next coast state over see, you know what i mean go to the next if so if you're in dallas go to houston if you're in dallas go to austin san antonio you know what i mean no matter where you're at, go like go travel short, then go further and further and further out. I'm not saying go overseas. I'm not saying that. But for me, as a kid, my mom took me everywhere. 
if it was my mom taking me with, or my uncles and my aunts taking me places. I went everywhere. Like I said, ain't been out, ain't been across the pond, ain't been overseas, ain't done none of that yet. That's my plan to do. But at the same token, it's like I was blessed enough to do all these things, you know, as a kid and as an adult. I still do. I still do stuff like. I mean, I've been places, and I don't want to, you know, just be, I'm so my city, I'm so Dallas, I'm so, I want to see other things, you know. I know a lot of people that do the same thing. My boy, after two, he stays traveling. He stays traveling. He was going to go to Japan before the pandemic. This dude stays on the move, and he stays going somewhere. He always goes somewhere, so like, I mean, this dude. Be on the move, you know. What I mean, he just packs up and go. You know what I mean? And it's like a lot of people are just. And for the people who don't go places, my thing is: Are you too cheap to do it, or are you scared to do it, or you just, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people get caught in that. Oh man, why well, I gotta travel, man? I can do that here. Man, why I go to vacation? I can do that here. I can do that, th you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But it's like, it's so many different things outside of where you're at. Like, from the food, to the people, to the culture, to the, just like I say, the style. Hell, I'm a music head. You, I remember when I went to D.C. No, I got cousins that stay in D.C. And uh, Maryland. And all that. I remember I met, we was at a family reunion one time, like, yo, they was putting me on the go-go music. It was years ago. Like, yeah, man, you heard of uh, go-go music? Like, what's go-go music? The only thing I know about go-go music is, um, um, it's like the go-go dances, you know what I mean? I'm thinking about in the 60s and whatnot, and go-go's, you know, I heard the, I heard that word, but I never knew. I knew girls that were go-go dance. I didn't know, like, a, like what is that? And I, yo, man, it's, like, like, it's instruments and y bands and yada yada. Oh, for real? And that's a D, that's not a, that's not, they don't do that here. That's a DC thing. Then you go out to, you know, New York, got the, you got the UK, got the drill. Then you got New York, they got their New York drill style, then they got Texas, we got the screw. And you got every other state got their own thing. And I mean, as a, as a man that loves music, as a man of music, I, I love getting put on the new things, especially music. You got, the, like I said, the food and just the vibe. Every city is a different vibe, you know. And I tell this, I tell this all the time. I remember when I went to D.C., you know, we was in Maryland. And it's funny because I love their transit system. I love the system, the train system. Like, we got on the train. For the people who stay out there in um, the Maryland, D.C., DMV area, whatever that train system is, put in the comments if you know or if, if you just know off top. Like, there was a train that go from Maryland. I forget how we got there. We drove to a train station and got on another train, and it took us right to D.C. And I felt con when soon we got off the train and... I instantly felt connected. Like, I felt so connected to the... I felt connected. Like, I, lo I love it. Hell, hell, I can move it. You know what I mean? Just off the strength of, like, I like it here. It just, I didn't... It's like, you go somewhere, you feel disconnected, but I felt connected there, you know? That's just me. It's like, yo, I really like it out here. I didn't even get to... We saw the White House, but I didn't get to see everything because like a family reunion, so, you know, you don't get to see everything you want to see because everybody want to do their own thing. But, like, just the... Just the you know what I mean? Just everything, just like, you know, but I love to travel. I want to try. I want to try. I love traveling. You know, I want to do more. I want to see more. I want to go to Canada. I want to go to, I want to hit up um, Seattle, you know, you know, go to Seattle and drive up and cross the border, go into Canada, see Vancouver, see, the, see Toronto, all that, you know, I want to see, I want to see all that, you know what I mean? Just all that dope stuff. And I want to hit the East Coast. I want to hit New York, Philly, Ohio. And you see, and it, that's another thing. Different, like I said, when it comes to style, I know so many independent um, clothing brands. Shout out to 3150 Clothing Brand. Um, shout out to my boy out there in uh, Ohio, Sweet Tooth Academy. And these are not sponsored. These are just people that I think are dope, you know. 
It's like you see all these different brands like you, that you can only get in those. Like you can order it online, but you know what I mean? You know, no, in uh, this company, 3150 is in, 3151 is in um, Atlanta, Atlanta. And, all, and like I said, Sweet Tooth Academy in Ohio. And it's one of the things like, yo, this is some, this is some shit. This is this some stuff, right? We they got some stuff, you know. But it's like I don't get like it's more than just just ah I can't explain it. Like you don't you just don't want to know your bet. You just don't want to know your city. And I like I I tell people this all the time. If you have kids, don't deny your kids what you didn't have. If you never been out, go let your kids see some stuff. Let them see the, see the stuff you didn't get to see. Hell, that you get to see the stuff because you never see y'all experiencing it together. You know what I mean? Y'all experiencing this stuff together, the family. You know, it's like, it's so much. It's so much. Like, I can't wait till everything gets back to, to, to somewhat normal. So, you know, it's the point where it's like, you can go out now, you can chill, you can ease up a little bit, it's a little, everything's more relaxed, you know, and everything, we can, you can move the way you want to move, because I'm like, yo, there's so much, you know, and I get on my partner all the time, like, bro, you are missing out, you are missing so much, you don't want to be in your 40s and never say, and say you never been nowhere, you ne like I said, I'm like, and especially if you got a wife or a girlfriend, you really think they just want to be in the city all the time? You know what I mean? Hell no. I sit back and watch diners, driving, and dives, drives all the time. I watch Bizarre Food, diners, driving, and dives. I watch all that. And I'm like, yo, I, I just want to eat. I want to, I got to go to this state, I got to go to that state, I got to go to this state, I got to do that. I want to do that. I want to go eat with this food in there. You feel me? That's, that's, that's what I, I that's what make, that, that's stuff like, I remember, uh, my sister got married. And I said, yo, sis, she, she was married my homeboy. I said, yo, go, that was in New Orleans. I was like, yo, go to uh, this one restaurant. She's like, how do you be knowing about this? I watch Triple D all the time. I'm all, I, I watch Foot Food Network majority of the time. That's all I watch. You know what I mean? That's my that's my thing. I just want to like, yo, this. I gotta try that when I when I get a chance to go out again. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like I said. Another thing before I get about it, Altitude told me. It's in a, if y'all go back and watch Coffee with Jones, the altitude, with altitude on it, he was like, he remembers one time he was on the train, talked to a guy, and he said he'd never been nowhere. And he was got down to the, he said, man, I got down to the lowest common denominator to the, I try to simplify it to the best play I, way I could. He said, he's never, the dude, he said he never been outside. He's never left. I'm like, like really like I said even as a kid I was going places like I got as a kid I'm thinking everybody doing what I, I be doing I'm thinking everybody traveling I'm 8, 9, 10 years old thinking everybody going out on the weekend on vacation no, but hold, everybody don't do that everybody don't live like you do everybody parents ain't got the funds to do what I'm blessed to do I'm like I'm thinking everybody doing that you know but now it's cool to see we all old and see all my friends. We going, everybody going places, you know. Well, I got a partner that I know a dude. I went to school. He always out the country. He's always out the country. You, I don't know how many passports he didn't went through. Gosh, damn! Every time on Instagram I see it, it's a new uh, Dubai, Switzerland, Germany, everywhere. Nigga, just like he's everywhere. You know what I mean? He's everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, gosh, damn. 
I ain't trying to go all the, I, I'm not trying to go that far into out. Like, the closest I'll probably go is to, like, the Ireland and Canada. That's probably it. I ain't trying to go all out. Like, my biggest thing, I ain't trying to get sick in another country. Uh -uh, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, my insurance may not work out there. But anyway, in the comments, let me know some places that you want to go, you want to travel to. And, yeah. Before I, like, like I say, yo, just be more well-rounded. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to uh, understand. I want people to to... No, there's, it's more to know than I don't want to give a damn if you live in Chicago, you live in Philadelphia, you live in, I don't give a damn where you stay at. It's more to just, your, it just see other things. You know what I mean? You ain't got to go out of the country, out of town every freaking month. Once every other month, twice a year probably. Hell, three times a year, do something because it's more to just your city. You know, and with that being said, I'm your boy June's 88, and I'll see y'all Thursday. Peace, 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 peace.